Well, now that looks good, but later this month, we're getting a Windows update, and all the companies are prepping for it, AMD and NVIDIA. My name is Mac here at the MacGyver 7 channel. Today, we're going to be covering the 20.5.1, the brand new May update that AMD is extraordinarily happy about, and we'll be going over some scores. Now, that score is a little special treat, so I'll tell you exactly how I got that at the very end, but for right now, let's go ahead and cover over some things that I want to say. First, I wanted to thank MP, part of the community, that totally keyed me into this optional, but wasn't keyed into my actual stats. Sometimes, the AMD hardware can get a little bit out of alignment with its software when installing, and sometimes that can come up, and I've noticed a few errors that are corresponding with that, so I'm going to be making a video later on about knowing your AMD card and what to look out for, and just kind of cool tips um, to kind of like see the breathing portion of your GPU and make it really work for you because I've got my Radeon 7 dialed in nowadays, and we're going to be going ahead and bringing up those patch notes. So let's go ahead and dive into that. As I bring everything over here into the Infinity Fabric, you can see that the support for this maze driver in the first installation brings a new genre to hopefully streaming for people within their Xbox 360 controllers and other devices that come around with their AMD link. So they got some nice emulating drivers from an AMD XD. So pretty neat. Thought that would be pretty uh, recommendable in that situation. If, you know, if you're using that, how is it? Leave a comment down below. Now they do mention that you may have some hangups on the experience of the hybrid GPU, so keep an eye out on the Radeon software itself. Myself, um, I think if you mess with the software again, look out for that video, it might help you. And I would definitely like to hear if it does or does not, because the community function of information is always what keeps us moving forward with knowledge. Next subject. If you've ever had a launching game with two display screens that you end up coming down to the portion of going like, hey, what's going on with this like a uh, black screen? Just rebooting the system. But again, I have a better way of doing that. You don't have to really reboot it, but there is a way to rewake it up rather. And um, I'll be showing that in that video. So I mean, a lot of these issues I've noticed from week to week, they've always had them. So I've been trying to look for ways to kind of show you guys and gals what I do in order to make sure that they're non-existent, if not um, something I'm minimally dealing with. Um, AMD is great. It just, there's a lot of tinkering you kind of have to do with it. And once you get it dialed in, they're great cards. Moving to the next thing on the list. Now the random disconnection, I can kind of see that being more of like a IP ping thing for the internet. Oh no, it seems like the destiny thing's back. Ah, oh, crap also on top of overwatch making the list so a lot of games they're they're apparently claiming that they have fixed but i mean these are kind of newer ones on the list that i'm kind of going like hmm how long have they been there that you know the community members had to reach out to them like a fortnite issue with amd or compatibility with you know epic and their like software and you know amd software because you have to think i mean nvidia has the luxury of having a wider team of um, people so looking at that in the situation for the incorrect memory that comes up in the report next that's mainly a thing with the 5700 card that's kind of been tossed around on top of the hybrids card of the 5500 series experiencing the same thing with installation sometimes. But uh, doing a clean install sometimes will fix those. I have a video on that too, you guys and guys and gals can watch. Just browse my channel. There's tons of stuff. Next thing on the list is the high memory usage. So if you're overclocking it a little bit and it's kind of like running around, the instant replay on the desktop may kind of do that. And I've been kind of stress testing that because I've been messing with the HB. Um, uh, memory kind of bandwidth because I always just let it kind of do its thing and disabled it but you kind of have to clear their cache every so often to make sure it's efficient because I noticed the longer it goes on the infinity fabric kind of tears itself it's weird but I, I might make a whole other video on just that because I feel like no creators really tapped into that and I feel like that kind of would be nice to have some knowledge out there on the playing field for everyone and I know there is a lot of people that do use that in there so one of my community does use it on the Radeon 7 card and apparently it's beast so I feel like it's got some uh, sunlight that needs to be shown. Looking on past that for the TDRs that make the list, when the Vulcan is engaged inside of a Geek Bench 5, on top of that, the hitches and the observation of Leagues of Legends also make a bigger situation because of the situation of the task switching management. So, I mean, a lot of these issues, I mean, I'm going to cover um, for as far as what this patch will be is that. They just have mainly AMD's main issue is that, they, you know, they're good at doing one thing and doing it really well. But the minute you start doing multiple things and throw a whole bunch of multitasking on multitask, it's like, no, 
that's one thing Intel excels the hell out of. Like, they're really good at, like, just telling you if they, no, we can't do that. No, nah, you're just going to do it really slow. Or, yes, we can do that. And we're going to do it really fast. So, and two different companies. I mean, it's the quality and quantity versus, you know, quantity and quality. Um, but I think both have their light and day, as all companies do. And there's a lot of cool companies coming out, like, that I'll be covering later on in the uh, tail end of this year. They're going to be doing um, GPUs, like Intel, maybe. Anyways, moving on. As the uh, League of Legends, we go to the Sniper Elite. It just is haunted by a minimalized invoking Radeon software overlay. This one's a little bit bigger to kind of bring into like the overlay where you can see that the standard profile in the software may become applied when the game profile is clicked a numerous amount of times. So like you don't double tap, kind of like, uh, you know, that whole portion, it may end up... Um, causing too many tasks at once and amd again doesn't like to multitask on multitask um with inside of the lightning uh corruption may be seen a uh, situationably in the grand theft auto 5 and that may be a bigger thing for the enabling portion since you know like i think it was epic gave it out free like last month or this month still remaining might still be there i i feel so bad for laura she's always on the list eventually she's the tomb raider of amd uh, but she comes out of that cave hollering about like uh, texture drops inside that situation in the corner, apparently the right hand corner of the screen when moving inside the mouse. So that sucks when the en enabled boost is on there. But I would say if mess with the boost setting, we might have to fiddle it. Maybe it just works really well with one setting. Uh, moving on past that, we have Red Dead and its failed portions and the hybrid graphics and the systems and the configuration. It's in memory tunings, and they may fail into the AMD Radeon 7 products. Yes and no. And the reason why I brought this screen up is that this is why I wanted to get into my mid interlude portion of what you should watch out for. Something I've already recorded that I think is going to be really cool. I just got to upload it for you guys and gals later on. So really stay tuned for this one. Uh, is the RAM settings. I finally have done a video and like a quick tutorial for my community members mainly, but another one for an updated version for people that are newer are going to be approaching the channel. Um, if you are here too and you're wondering like, well, I can do the XMP or the dock settings, but sometimes it doesn't take or it's crap. Um, and I found that your Radeon card loves tight tunings. If you have an AMD processor and you have AMD styled RAM, which by the way, almost everything is AMD styled RAM, it is um for the most part you just check your qvls i'm not going to say that it's guaranteed but you for the most part can gather it the same but they're always kind of tuned to not keep this too long and to kind of just keep this as a nice little bubble pop towards what you can watch as a little teaser is that if you tight tune your timings your card will sink and i got some amazing tunings out of my radeon 7 card and it is running flawless when it comes down to situations but i do notice when there is experimental ram times that aren't with the motherboard that's working you do end up with issues um, but moving on before we dive into the known issues. Um, looking at the situation for as far as the unable requirements in the error message and may sometimes display in the upgrade advisory tabs. You can also see that the GPU tends to hate the metrics. It doesn't want to go into that matrix with the Radeon software. Now, the newer one that came onto the list that they kind of fixed, and they, these are all fixed lists. I know I'm making a little bit of comedy. I'm much making community members laugh a little bit and the star wars and the jedi inside of the fallen order and they may experience the hangups when launching again the radeon enable portion so again there's probably a lot of this stuff is probably wondering do you have something open in the background do you have two screens um and that's one cool thing that i'm going to be testing out later on because i got another radeon 7 card i got it from london too i bought it and it was really cheap it was new and it was a different series of mine but it was like a little bit more of an elite portion of it so it was kind of like a founders but it was kind of like it's cool I'll, I'll have another video on that too um but i'm wondering when you slap two of them together the efficiency that you'll have if you have two screens and then having two direct portions and that that solves the freaking issue because it's just like oh okay you have two screens and you're trying to divide my gpu no it's not going to work um but moving on to the known issues that we have there has been dropouts with inside of the metric portions for the Vega series cards, preferably the Radeon 7. And I haven't noticed it too much. Um, I have noticed within Cinebench that there was, like, say if you're doing 1080p, which we'll get into our um, score testing portions back to back really quick at the very tail end of this to keep this short. Um, you end up having a situation where it runs down to the performance down on top of there. Now, there's gaming titles that the RX situation is going to have issues with the 5000 series and the sync that ends up having the black corrupted screens 
which is not a big issue if you know the user experience inside of that is basically a disabled to work around that on top of the edge when you have the playback and the video on top of the context and multiple screens again we'll be testing that later and the extended period of use um, and i use dual screens all the time and there's always an issue um, performance in the metric and the overlays inside of the 5700 cards performing a power consumption impact inside the incorrect report which would suck especially if you're trying to hit the special tunings as we dive towards the very open issues that are at the tail end of this we see that the exhibiting shuttering portions that are during gameplay in the 5000 series in the vega series you also have the product that experiences the tdr when performing in the multitask and again multiple tasks inside of the old tab um, now on top of the situation for the desk inside of the game and the corruption and the occurs for as far as their HDR when it's enabled and top of that the experiencing and the black screens may have some hangups during the extended portion and the AMD continue monitoring portions of all of this stuff very closely that they always tell us every week. So the score. I know. Let's, let's, let's go with this one first. How did I get that? Let's bring this up closer. You see my fire strike and it's going phenomenally well and you know the setup that i normally get so this is almost about a thousand points above and this is in a nominal overclock and i i mean below 2000 racks on my radeon 7 by itself well in order for me to achieve this i also achieved this score and this was just the fluctuation of my 3800 series ram which led me down a lab, like basically a rabbit's hole of so much cool stuff that I've been doing the last week of dismantling stuff and like reinventing stuff inside of the uh, portion of like RAM tunings because my motherboard gave me an update for my 3800. Now it's stable to jump in and I was like really cool with that. It's not perfect, but it can be tuned. And the Ryzen clock memory um, tuning finally got the Threadripper 2 series, so now I can finally tune it in the 3800 uh, like frequency that I want my 14 latency, because that was the issue, was that it would fluctuate and I could not have any stable benchmarks, otherwise I'd be talking to you guys about gobbledygook and you guys would be like this guy's full of shit because every single week he's going from opposite scores to there's no progression change there's no stability and i so i needed stability so the 36 16 19 like is a perfect stability for that motherboard because it's like hey look i i know how to run that in a dock setting and you're cool bro like so uh, but i might be tuning that and then tuning 3800 and testing those two that's going to be a whole other thing but let's go ahead and look at should you install this this is the segment that you've kind of been going towards since we got out of the patch notes and now we're looking at the situation this week's back to back fire strike with the start so after killing it with a score that's a thousand points after you can kind of see like oh okay that's kind of decent but the reason why that score can look pretty decent versus this one is if you are switching profiles and your motherboard goes into a safe mode you may produce certain other settings again this goes into ram settings and what your motherboard's doing and you will start understanding that sometimes weird crap can happen um, but i do want to point that out there sometimes resetting like a motherboard or something crashes in the system and you definitely have some flukes reset it and you should get your median back which that's basically what we required here which was the bad updates from windows because i was like wait what the hell that was actually kind of decent for that windows update which it was really bad and still continued because you can see the fluctuation this is all still last patch with the current windows and we're waiting for an impending windows destruction and i'll have to update windows and see and, and what happens and we'll do our mid patch notes but looking at the stability of 2.51 does it help with fire strike yes yes it does it adds a little stability and i feel like that they had to go stability strong inside of this update because they know the wind that's coming of the mess that windows has caused and i don't blame them a lot of my mid patch notes are literally covering what a hot mess it is and the person that writes linux switched over to amd for years they had been intel and they switched to amd so that's kind of telling us a lot of stuff that amd technology is getting better that linux might become the king of what's going down if not like uh what is it intel clear which is their software that they're trying to throw out there which i'm super excited about for i'm that's supposed to run circles apparently bulldozer can like freaking like making i9 seem like you know yesterday's news I, that's word of mouth but still That'd be amazing if that's true um looking at the situation on going on past does fire strike extreme and ultra do they have any effect instead of this and we'll sum it up pretty quick yes or no's 
and it just trends good. I mean, it, it's it's stable, it's making the performance good. I haven't dealt with one flicker, technically, on my screen. Give it time, though. AMD, technically, gotta give it time. Like a wine, it ages well. Um, looking at that situation, you can kind of see that we have some cool improvements. Look at that. that that's, that's pretty decent. When you look at the graphical score improvement jumping right there, and then when you look at Ultra, you also see a consistent improvement. That's good. Ultra? By that much? Seriously? Good job, AMD. You did really good on this patch for like um, DirectX 11. You should be loving gaming, hopefully. Not leave a comment. I definitely appreciate you spoke this much time. And this is going to be a longer than usual special because I know it's been a second since they've been out and they're covering a lot too. So I've been trying to sum it up to like seven minutes, like the last few ones, but we're already getting a little too long on this. Let's go ahead to our DirectX 12. I mean, and, and it's just like that that just sexy software that just comes to you every so often in that blue moon that's just like hey how you doing you want to grab a drink yeah well i do and this is a good update i say for optionals install it it should be worth at least a try and if anything happens just do a clean install reference one of my videos it'd be really great either way i got your back max here to help you guys in the technological situation so techies and techettes um, today's patch has been a very fun situation but it brings us to our tail end. So if you're new to the network, you can always subscribe. Absolutely free. Helps me as a creator. And if you're looking for more ways to help me as a creator, you can look at some of the links down below. There are great ways to build some of the Threadripper stuff that I've done. There's links to like games. Anytime you use one of those portal links to Amazon and I get paid for it, like you're basically taking from Amazon and giving to me, but still paying the same price. It's amazing. Basically, you're, you're like Robin Hood, but you're helping your boy back. So, cheers everyone i've been having a lot of fun time in staycation mode so that's why i've been kind of doing a lot of stuff and making a lot of projects so get ready for the slew of tech stuff that's going to be happening pretty soon and i'll see you guys and gals in the near future stay safe stay calm and if you subscribe today who knows maybe just maybe i'll get like three radeon seven cards and see what happens because apparently crossfire is still in most people don't understand that that with the radeon series you can still get a crossfire out of like freaking like two radeon seven cards now is anything supported and does it do that yeah i'm sure people can leave comments about that down below you should all right later everyone